Welcome to Tuesday's Tips and Tools brought to you by the VSU Center for eLearning. Today we are exploring the competencies tool in BlazeView and how you can use this tool in your own course. Why use the competency tool? Instructional best practices indicate that all activities in a course should be purposeful and connect to the objectives and goals of the course. By connecting the activities to the learning objectives, you can determine if students acquire the intended knowledge, skills, and abilities for the course from the learning activities. You avoid gaps in learning by aligning course activities with the goals and objectives of the course. You can demonstrate through these connections how students acquire intended knowledge, skills, and abilities. And you can provide transparency for students so they can understand the purpose for your learning activities. Competency structures form a sort of triangle with building blocks with the course goals at the pinnacle. At the top are the competencies, which represent goals or aims of the course. Learning objectives are the middle building block. These have measurable criterion to determine if the objective has been met by the student. Activities are the foundation of learning. These are the tools you use to assess student learning throughout your course. Let's look at examples. In practice, you'll see the following items in your structure. Competency will be written as a broad skill or ability that students can demonstrate upon completion of your course. These are often overarching concepts or abilities that are built upon throughout a course. Learning objectives must be measurable to identify whether an objective has been met. These often use verbiage from learning theories such as Bloom's taxonomy. The competency tool allows you to connect learning objectives to assessment tools and content in your BlazeView course, from major assignments down to one question on a quiz. As you prepare to set up the competencies and learning objectives in your course using the competency tool, go through this checklist and make sure you have each item ready to go. All rubrics are published and ready. All activities and grade items are set up. All competencies, objectives, and activities are ready to add. You know the connection between your activities and your objectives. And you know the level required to meet each objective. To begin setting these up, from the navbar on your course homepage, select Design, then select Competencies. First, you'll create a new competency, so select New and select Competency. On the new competency page, enter the name of the competency. You may add a description of the competency if you wish. Next, leave the status in draft for now, but make sure you return to publish it later. Add additional identifiers if needed, and decide if you want the competency and its children visible to users. This is highly recommended. Decide if you want to allow reevaluation once competency is achieved, if not selected, students who have achieved the competency cannot be re-evaluated. Once these settings are complete, click the Save button. Next, you'll create a Learning Objectives, so select New and select Learning Objective. On your new Learning Objective page, again, enter the name of the Learning Objective. You may again add a description and additional identifiers if needed. If you were using Assessment as criteria for demonstrating students meet an objective, select Yes and select the types of assessment you plan to use. You may select more than one method, but you will not be able to change it after creating the objective. Select if the objective is ready for evaluation. You must select Yes to be able to evaluate the objective. Once the settings are complete, click the Save button. Remember, once you save, you will not be able to change the enforced evaluation method. After you've created your competencies and learning objectives, you need to connect them. On the competency page, click the competency you want to connect. On the page that opens, click the structure button. Then go to the edit structure tab, select add child under the children heading, and click existing learning objective. Select the appropriate learning objective and click the add selected button. Look at these tips before connecting to the learning activities. You can only map activities to the learning objectives. Activities will not link directly to competencies. You don't have to link every activity to a learning objective, but every learning objective must map to at least one activity. Assignments and discussions will require a rubric in order to be mapped directly to a learning objective. For assignments or discussions that don't include rubrics, you can instead address success through a simple numerical threshold by connecting your learning objective to a grade item in the BlazeView gradebook. 
To link an activity to the learning objective on the competency homepage, find and select the learning objective. Click the structure button, go to the edit structure tab, then scroll down and click add child. From that list, click incorporate activities. On the pop-up window, select the type of activity you would like to connect to the learning objective. Then follow the steps on the page to connect the activity. The Center for eLearning also has a guide for competencies and learning objectives that covers the steps for each type of activity. To view the results of your competencies and objectives, click the results button on the page for that item. Once students have met the threshold to meet the competency or objective, you'll see a check mark. You can click the student's name to see more details about how the student's progressing on competencies, objectives, and activities. To view overall statistics for an activity, go to the Structure Summary tab for the competency or objective and click the name of the activity. Scroll down the page to see basic statistics, grade distribution, and individual statistics for the activity. By using the Competencies tool thoughtfully to structure and assess your course, you can document and demonstrate student success in your course. You can also improve student motivation and understanding by allowing them to see the connections between learning activities and the goals of the course. Please contact the Center for eLearning if we can help you with anything we've covered in this video or for any other assistance as you develop your courses.